Are you wanting to get stronger? You're working to get stronger, doing body weight exercises, wanting to add a little more resistance, but maybe not quite ready to go to dumbbells and barbells, maybe a little scary for you yet. Let me show you how to use resistance bands to add a little more oomph to your workout without going to dumbbells or barbells or the gym. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Hey fitness friends, welcome back to the channel. I have a workout for you today that was another one that was requested by one of my viewers wanting to learn more about how to use resistance bands in a workout. So I've created one for you today that's pretty much a total body workout. We'll be using three different kinds of resistance bands. We'll be using loop bands, sometimes called pull-up assist bands if you're looking on Amazon for them. And we will also be using smaller loop bands. I have two different sizes. I have a longer one and a shorter one. And you'll see as we go on in the video how to use those. You can get these bands at pretty much any place that sells fitness equipment. Even drugstores and grocery stores are now carrying these. Check the link in the description below to see my favorite bands. In addition to the resistance bands, today you will need your water bottle, of course, your sturdy chair. You might want to use the back of that for balance and a piece of furniture, either a heavy table. I'm going to be using my Swedish ladder to tie the band around the leg of. You can do it around part of a countertop. It just needs to be very sturdy and test that out before you do the exercise. So gather up those things and let's get started. The format today is going to be 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest and then right into the next movement for a great 10 minute exercise. Let's warm up starting with our march. Again, we're going to go for 45 seconds. So as you feel yourself warming up, you can bring your knees higher, almost into a high knees for this warm up. You can start moving to the side and back. Get your arms into it. Opposite hand, opposite leg should be swinging here. and rest time. Transitioning into the next warm-up movement that we're going to do is our good morning or hip hinge. We're going to work from the side. Hinge your hips back and if you want you can let your hands follow up and down your leg keeping your back absolutely flat. No arching. Shoulders should be back. Nice and slow. This is warming up our hip area. It's also stretching out our hamstrings. into our rest period. Grabbing our first band, which is the larger of the loop bands, you can also double one of the bigger bands. I like to lean against the wall when I'm doing this. Place the band above your knee. You never want to put a band on a joint. So above the knee, Starting our timer again. Getting into squat position. Hinge back and up. 
And as you go down into the squat, you're pushing out onto the band. And again, how deep you go in your squat depends on your mobility today. Mobility differs every single day. What you do with your hands doesn't matter. And this is not a race. Slow and steady. And rest. We're going to leave our band right here because we're going to do a second round. A couple deep breaths. Shake your knees out if you want to. I'm going to step a little wider this time into a sumo squat. You can stay with a regular squat if you'd like. Don't forget to breathe. Making sure you're hinging your hips back first. If you're feeling any discomfort in your knees, look at your positioning and your posture. And rest. We can come out of these now. Make sure you don't trip. Taking this off. We're going to pick up one of our longer bands, positioning our arms out from our shoulders. We're doing a banded, what I call W arms. There's a fancy technical name for it. It's basically a rotation of your shoulder. And again, nice and slow with this rotation. You're putting pressure on the band as you're doing this. You sh should feel it across your back and your shoulders too. Okay, resting a little bit here. We're gonna take it a little bit closer to the center for the next round, if you like. See, I'm having to pull a little harder. If the first one was challenging for you, leave it there for round two. Making sure that your elbows are in line with your shoulders for this. Don't forget to breathe. Anytime you feel the need, take a water break. And as always, if you feel any pain, stop the movement. Reassess. Shake everything out. This time, we're going to keep our pull-up assist band or loop band, whatever you want to call it. We're going to step on it with our back foot. Step forward with our front foot, push our arm out, curl, press. Whatever you want to do with the other arm, the second minute we're going to be doing that other arm. I'm tangled up in my microphone here. Should go right straight up with that press. And rest. Switching feet. This foot's going to go back. Make sure when you step out, you give yourself a wide berth here. Okay. Curl, 
Press straight up, curl straight up. No microphone on this side to get tangled up in. rest. Now you're going to attach this loop band to your piece of furniture just with a little loop and I'm going to put my closest foot again not on an ankle joint. This is an adductor movement working the inside of the leg. We're doing a single leg balance here, so if you need to hold on to something to stabilize you, especially since you're pulling against the band. Now we're gonna to move to the other side Restart the timer. If it doesn't seem hard enough, come out a little further away so that you're pulling the band tighter. Or you can also use a stronger band depending on what you have available. Make sure you have safety factors, you have something to hold on to if your balance isn't so great, and that you're not gonna fall against something. And there we have our 10 minute resistance band workout set up to give you a total body workout with just a little more oomph than straight body weight exercises. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought. Thanks for joining me for today's workout. It was another workout that was requested by one of my viewers. They want to see more resistance band workouts, so you'll see more of those coming in the future. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you know when I've put those workouts up. And drop me comments. As you can see, I use those comments to determine what I'm going to create for you next. So drop me comments, let me know what you want to see me do what you want to hear about, what you want to learn about, maybe what some of your problem areas are, and let's work on that. So drop me comments, subscribe to my channel. Most importantly, see you next time online.